you can search for epics by location or by time period. So let's go to the 15th to 18th century. And here we can explore epics that are perhaps unfamiliar to us. For example, we find a Central Asian epic whose earliest written version stems from the 14th or 15th century, introduced by an expert in the field. And if we scroll down, we can find resources such as essential bibliography, online images, and in this case, of the hero and of the performance setting, as well as websites and videos of performances at your fingertips. Some pages on epics include teaching tools. So let's look at two further examples from the 15th to the 18th centuries. The first is the Fairy Queen, where we have an introduction by Jason Lotz, who also supplied an essential bibliography. And if we look under images, we find a website developed by Josh Reed with approaches, images, and pedagogy. So there's a treasure trove for instructors here. The second example, if we go back to the 15th to 18th century, oops, is Paradise Lost with an introduction by Angelica Duran, who has also supplied essential bibliography and has shared her class activities on the site. So if you go to images, you can find her author Milton illustrations worksheet, which has online images as well as uh, discussion questions. And you can find websites, performances, and lectures and podcasts on Paradise Lost as well. Let's go back to the homepage because there are more features I'd like to point out. Under events, right now there's the World Epics and Puppet Theater, India, Iran, Japan, Italy project. This is a series of scholarly encounters and puppet theater performances. The mini symposium on exile and the corresponding Sicilian puppet play already took place and the videos are available online. The three upcoming events for May 11th, 18th and 25th are online screenings of puppet plays based on epic narratives from Iran, Japan and India followed by Q and A's with the puppeteers. The next section, resources, features websites on different epic texts and traditions. And I change these periodically. And at the bottom of the homepage are posts in three different categories, adaptations, news and events, and publications. So please do send me your news and I'll post it here. The publications column is not only for recently published books, but also for calls for papers and proposals. For example, the Anthem World Epic and Romance book series invites proposals for manuscripts dealing with epics and chivalric romances from across the globe, both written and oral in poetry and prose, as well as adaptations in theater and cinema. If we look up top of the main menu, I've recently added projects and next I'll be adding syllabi. I therefore invite you to share your syllabi for courses that include epic texts and traditions. All contributors are acknowledged both on the relevant pages and on the about page. And here's my open invitation. Please email me. You can find my email here. 
If you would like to supply a brief introduction to an epic that is not yet included, if you can suggest websites, videos of performances, or online artwork related to epic narratives, if you are willing to share teaching resources or other materials on the site, if you have news that you would like posted on the site's homepage, or if you have feedback for improving the site. The list of contributors is on this page. And some names in the list include email addresses and personal websites for easy reference. The link is edblogs.columbia.edu slash world epics. And you can also access the World Epics website through the RSA Commons.